Agent of Doubt here. Posting a ramble video after a couple days of not posting. Um, haven't had a lot of energy lately. A uh, couple nights ago, my friend Haas called me to tell me that Katie Bug had been killed in a car accident. And I didn't believe it at first. I was like, this is like some horrible joke, you know. I'm like, he would never joke about something like this, you know. And as it set in, more and more of my energy is just gone. Um, and it, it's been on my mind the whole time. Um, kind of bleeds into everything. So I made a tribute video out of uh, mostly selfies that she took of herself and posted on Facebook. Some of them were my photos, but mostly the majority of them were just her own photos from her Facebook. Um, and many people were asking me, who's this girl? You know? And, and th on YouTube. And I'm, I'm like, you don't have to know in order to understand that I felt the need to make this video and that it's some real person that died in my life. And it seemed to me that some people were of the mindset that I have a channel wherein I'm only supposed to disseminate information about, I don't know, topical stuff on my beliefs, and I'm not supposed to use my channel like most people use their YouTube channel for life stuff, you know, even though my channel is pretty much me going through life with the beliefs that I have and how it's like in a world where the majority of people don't hold the same beliefs. And it's been, um, at times, me having a lot of time to sit around and rant about stuff, but uh, at other times it's just like me walking through the woods with my girlfriend. And if I can put a life video like that up, why can't I put up a tribute video to somebody that none of you know? I mean, it's not like I confer with you guys as to which mountain I'm going to go climb, you know? Um, so, that tribute video now has 1,163 views as of this recording, and most of them, uh, not my normal YouTube audience, because I normally average between 100 and 200 views, uh, especially because I had a big lull in my channel, you know, so my quality of subscriber isn't that great. Uh, I've kind of uh, dropped the ball on it, but it's very obvious that those views are not um, my normal subscribers, and they weren't supposed. Th the video wasn't meant for my normal subscribers. Sorry, I just used my YouTube channel, um, and I I do have another channel that I do use for family. Um, but for me, family is pretty much everyone I knew before I graduated college. And this channel has interacted with a lot of the people that I met after I went to college and after some events happened in my life. Um, after the point where I decided to be open on a YouTube channel about... Um, me being an atheist, and later an atheist, and, you know, after I went through a whole bunch of uh, protest movements where I met a lot of people, the videos of which were on this channel. Um, in fact, Katie Bug has other videos with her in it on this channel, because when I met her, uh, it was at the Occupy movement 
um, in Colorado Springs, and she was helping her mom, who was one of the permit holders for the event, the uh, the three permit holders. She was one of them, and there are a bunch of videos with her mom on this channel, and so. My decision to not put that on my family channel for, you know, things only related to family was kind of based on, you know, she's part of this life that I have here, um, that interacts with this channel, the life that I started to live um, since 2010, okay? So... That would be why why I put it on this channel, even though there's a, uh, when you embed a, a video, there's this uh, little box you can check that says, do you want to suggest other videos at the end of the video? And I check no, because the video is kind of self-contained in just about her, and I don't want people going f you know, from a memorial video to uh, me arguing against someone's beliefs, you know, because I do that a lot on my channel. So, it was kind of mixed. Um, and and there, there were a, a bunch of different thoughts that went into making it. Like, I didn't monetize it. I wouldn't have. Um, and it's not just because of the, the music on it that I didn't own. Um, I just wouldn't feel right making money off of a video like that. Um, I made the video to be part of the website that I helped make for Christy, her mom. Um, Brian J1962 helped me out a lot on that website. Um, in the middle of his visit from Jason whatever channel you want to find him on. The Lad with the Pink Rod, Chathone665, I think. But... I've had a couple th thoughts about this grieving process that I, I just felt like rambling about after days of silence after a strange tribute video that you guys who normally watch my channel know nothing about this girl uh, or at least you didn't recognize her from my other videos um, you can also see Katie in some of the we are women and uh, other feminist things that I filmed um, because her mom was the co-founder of the Colorado chapter of We Are Women, and um, her mom's friend Meg is very uh, active as an activist as well. And Katie was like uh, a, li a little magic helper the whole time, like through all of that. So she's in all of those shots. Like if I'm in the crowd watching uh, something at the Greek theater you know, she's up there, and so is her mom, and so is Meg, and she's in a lot of these videos. Um, also, I knew Katie Bug um, because she was an employee at my store. So, um, at least every Saturday for at least three hours, but, uh, like, every uh, craft fair that went on at my store, you know, she was there, like, the whole day. Um, and I can attest to how hard of a worker she was, um, because there were people twice her age that didn't have the same work ethic as her, and that's why I kept her around. You know, that's why I cared to keep her in hours when I was cutting the hours of other people. Um, it's because she deserved it. She didn't deserve um, anything less than the most I could give to her. So, 
you know. And we used to even um, give her difficult tasks just to see the look on her face when we give them to her because her eyes would like bug out of her head and then two seconds later she would put on the I'm a good employee face and smile and like you know sometimes we were just joking no 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 don't do that because she would say yes to anything she was a great model worker um, and there were a couple things that like I had her go up a uh, uh, 15 foot ladder to uh, sand some things down so that we could paint them and then I took a picture and I sent it to her mom and you say look this is you know this is how great of a worker your little daughter is you know check her out there's nothing she can't do and she put out a lot more work than people twice her age and twice her size um, a lot of the smaller ladders that we had were just around because Katie worked there. <laughs> you know, the little step ladder, that's for her. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I could reach most things there, but. <sighs> the, fir like, the first thing I want to say before I, I read some of these comments and answer some questions is I'm not angry at anyone who um, was a regular watcher of the channel and was just like weirded out that I would just throw a curveball onto my channel. Even though I do that a lot. Um, I'm not even mad at the one guy who um, is a regular watcher of this channel and also a, a Facebook friend of mine. And he uh, commented on how hot Katie was when I was posting pictures of her because I wanted to share after she was dead. So, yeah. I'm not angry because he didn't know. But, FYI, when someone dies, the people that are mourning them don't want to hear your comments on how hot someone is. Um, and I don't think anything that was on the video's comments... Um, approached that level insanity of insanity. That was on Facebook. And I deleted it because I knew the guy didn't know, you know, just so that Katie's family didn't see that shit. But, uh... <clears throat> Durakin. He, uh, he re replies, you know, what's a comment on the, on the video? Who? And I'm just going to say, somebody makes a tribute video because somebody died. Um, just the, the question who with a question mark is like, it can be taken the wrong way to where you think that like they're saying, why do we care? Who's that? You know, how do we, how do we know that person in just the YouTube community? You know, how dare you like, you know, interrupt this great conversation that we're having with everyone with something that happens from your real life. Um, so I replied to him, link in the description box, and he said, I saw that. Didn't tell me who this person is. I realize the next sentence will sound rude, but I don't intend it to be. And anything that ever starts like that is always like... <clears throat> Why should I care? It just seems people have put in effort to answer that, but have failed. I'm just curious whether I should care about this person on some level other than this person was a person, which it is a reason to care, but to what degree alters by person, and it seems the effort put in says that this person was more than just another person, is all. And then he followed that comment with, By the way, implicit in what I said above, that I think I should make explicit, the video is beautifully done, good work, man, for whoever this person was. Um, I 
I guess the the best answer to why should you care is um, you shouldn't because you weren't personally touched by this person but you can see and, and, and witness how other people did care and do care and um, the link that was in the description box of that video had comment, a comment section on that website that I set up for Christy um, so that she could mourn her daughter and all of those comments um, are they're all really good reasons why people should care but um, yeah that's the the problem with having a uh, a channel where it's half my life and half topical rant you know some people are expecting everything to be something that will personally relate to them and although that video wasn't something like that, but I, I didn't mean it to be, but this video, this, this one right here, will resonate topically with people as far as how I live my life um, openly and not having the same beliefs as those around me. Um, because there are some things that I, I want to say later. Muskoka Man said, Such a treasure lost so young might even make a stone angel weep in sorrow. My condolences and well wishes go out to those that knew her. Awesome comment, you know. I haven't even watched the first episode of the new season of Doctor Who. And like when he says stone angel weep, it reminds me of the weeping angels. And I just haven't felt like sitting down to watch it. You know, I'm not ready. Uh, Maggot2014 said she w was a good person and very nice person. Too young and too nice to have passed away. Always a delight to be around. Um, could be a local. Uh, Fred Tarr, um, his comment, he was he's a local. When I say local, I mean someone who was in the community that knew her. Um, none your business. Life is all too often short and brutal. I don't like that comment. <laughs> you know, I'm leaving it. Um, but when I look at that comment, I'm like... That's not very consoling or nice, just to say life is short and brutal, you know? What are you thinking by leaving that comment? Uh, my friend Joel, he says, thanks, Mike, much love. Much love, Joel. Um, IG, he leaves uh, condolences and a moment of thought for me and Misty, my girlfriend. Um, my girlfriend actually wasn't uh, close to um, Katie at all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like, I, I, I put it out there and most of the people who comment are YouTube regulars, you know. And most of the people who watched it are not. So the comments looks nothing like the actual um, enjoyment of the people who watched it on the website embedded. Um, I don't believe in all the angel stuff, but she will live in the memories of her friends and family. To me, that is better than the angel stuff, as it's real. That's what Atheist Mecca said. And I agree with that sentiment, but in this moment right now, I am not trying to say that to anyone um, close to her, because 
to give you a, a, a background of the people that were closest to her, um, they're very spiritual, if not strictly Christian. You know, they're... I wouldn't have thought that her mom was uh, into just thinking that her, her her kid would become an angel before this happened, you know. Um, her mom wasn't a very uh, religious person, and because of a lot of the uh, activism that she believes in and, and works hard for, uh, she's often at odds with people who uh, wear God on their sleeve. So, it's weird. Um, two nights ago, there was a drum circle at Christie's house, you know, to uh, you know to remember her daughter by and. There have been drum circles in that circle of friends um, for many people that have passed away and, and for just the Waldo Canyon fire and when, when, when you guys hear drum circle you're not thinking of a, a Christian sort of um, memory thing and, and it's, it's more like a, a spiritual nature thing so um, Haas, he uh, he was the father figure to Christy or to Christy's kids, um, and Haas was born in Iran, and his beliefs, while uh, very spiritual and very um, New Agey, they're they're not uh, that of a Christian or a Muslim, you know. Um, Joel, who commented on the video, he's he's a converted Muslim, and all of these people don't just still do not have the same sort of base that I'm coming from when I make sense of what's happened in the world, and so I feel very left out um, of mourning processes. Now, uh, when Brian and I were making uh, the website for Christy. The, the point was, it's going to represent whatever Christy wants. You know, so the title of it is Fly With Angels, Katie, right? And, you know, there's a, a commenter here, Atheist Mecca, says, uh... I don't believe in all the angel stuff, but she'll live on in the memories of other people, you know? And and we did not take our own wants of, of, of how to mourn someone into consideration when making this website. No, it was all about, Christy wants it, Christy gets it. Purple and pink, because that was what her daughter liked, yes. Butterflies and peace signs, awesome, you know? whatever message she wants to sleep, fine, you know, because it's not about us. It's not about everyone inserting how they feel people should remember other people by. You know, it's not about me, me, me. In, the, in this instance, the world lost someone who uh, didn't even get the chance to reach her, her full potential of giving, but was a very giving person, even at her age. Um, and, and she looked like she was going to have a very promising future, and it's not about um, dicing up how exactly she should be remembered. Um, and I think that In, in the way that Christy and, and Haas and Cody and their, their family have been making decisions about her, I think it, it is really not um, the, the normal 
way to mourn. You know, it's it, it is more based on who Katie was and who they are, but uh, just the the funeral itself is being called the celebration of life instead of calling it a funeral, and people are being asked to wear bright clothes instead of black because Katie liked bright colors, liked all sorts of colors. So, you know, there's all sorts of elements here where I, I don't feel, like, completely uh, estranged from my friends, but I, I still don't feel like any of them uh, understand this the way that I do. Um, and, and it really, really isolates me from wanting to share anything at all, because I don't want to say anything that robs someone of something something that's getting them through this right now, because um, you know, even the, the notion of angels, and that people can become angels when they die, you know, maybe some people don't like that, and, and that's fine, but even if those who are mourning her right now would later come to the conclusion that, yeah, uh, thoughts about angels is kind of like, you know, fairy tales or, you know, whatnot. Right now, that's what's getting them through this, you know? Um, and I don't feel like it's the appropriate thing to do in this moment to tell someone, oh, pfft, she's not an angel, angels don't exist, you know? We don't know what happens after we die. Not not the, the appropriate time. Um, and that that's a very um, superficial thing to the the atheist community. Like that that's like how that, that's the conversation that would be in someone's screenplay if they were going to write a crappy movie about uh, an atheist who wants to jump off a ledge, you know? That's the kind of superficial thing. There are other thoughts that I've had that they they also keep me from sharing. Um, in, in the uh, message that's on the website, um, they say, I will never say goodbye, but only see you again someday. That's not how I mourn. That's not how I process this. Um, there are so many thoughts of, of an afterlife, and thoughts of, you know, just, this is only temporary pain, and there's, there's more to this world, and all that. There are a lot of these platitudes that can really help some people with certain belief systems get through a time like this. But for me, this death is ostensibly permanent. I have no indication whatsoever of anything else. What we have experienced of Katie warming us with her smile is all we're going to get. Period. And it hurts. And I feel like it hurts more because there's nothing that that people can say that, that takes that pain away. It just hurts. And you're supposed to feel pain. And you're supposed to cry. And you're supposed to have all your energy sucked out. And you're not supposed to um, you're not supposed to put it off. You're supposed to feel it. That's the the point of view that I come from. The the way that I experience the world. And it's not really compatible with a lot of my friends. You know. 
people who in other ways we we get along just fine you know and I don't pick my friends based on whether or not they agree with you know some core religious thoughts that I have I pick my friends based on you know who has with me made a promise to care about each other you know and sometimes it's very implied, but, you know, I have friends that are complete ideological opposites of me. That if I had a, a tire blowout in their city, they would be the ones to come fix my tire. You know? And Venter Gorilla's out there. Um... If I was in the UK, Brian would come, and I hate tea and milk, the idea, you know, and, you know, Lucky Dog 1351 is out there, he's in the springs, and we disagree on a whole bunch of things, and still, uh, if he was in trouble here, I'd be out to help him, you know. And it, it's more about that pact to care regardless of the, the arguments that you're going to have that, that makes a friendship. But when something like this happens, your core beliefs can get in the way of fulfilling a lot of what you want to as a friend, you know? Um, tomorrow, I plan on going through... Uh, awake on the next day of funeral and largely remaining silent because my every thought is basically don't say something that's going to take away from the way that they cope with this don't say something that's going to hurt their coping you know and just give out a whole bunch of hugs that I have because that doesn't have words you know and that's one of the things that's unique to people who, who don't have any notion of an afterlife you know, we really do understand the finality of things and in a more final and, and brutal way, you know. Loss is loss. Hurt is hurt. Last thing I'm going to say, it's kind of a weird tangent here, but I'm not probably going to get up at her wake. Um, I used to make fun of Katie for uh, taking a lot of selfie pictures on her phone. And uh, when it came down to making her a tribute video, it was a hell of a lot, a lot easier for me to make that video than it was for me to scrounge up photos of my own sister. Um, and those of you who know the entire history of me on YouTube would know that the first video that I ever made myself to put on YouTube was a tribute to my sister. And then the next one was a tribute to my cousin Verby. But my sister had a very long period of time where she did not like being in the photo. She didn't like having her picture taken. Um, mostly because she was more overweight than she was in high school. She didn't look like she did in high school. So she didn't want her picture taken. She was the one who had the camera 
and was behind it all the time. So there's a whole bunch of photos that she took of all of my family members, but she was not in many of them. So it was really hard for me to find a lot of photos of her when it came to making a memorial of her. And for all my jokes about Katie, um, because I wasn't just her boss, I was Facebook friends with her, and I would see forearm in the picture, right? And I, and I would call her the world's greatest forearm artist. And then she got better at taking her picture um, and, and you know, for all that joking that I did about it, she left so many wonderful pictures of herself for her family. And now I feel like shit as far as, like, you know, I know how much you really want pictures of, of someone in your family that, that passes away. And, you know, she was the smart one. And I think everyone of you out there should think about that and maybe take some selfies and then post them to Facebook or some some other part of the internet where people can find them. And if you want to follow Katie's example, um, change your hair color and then take another picture and then change what you're wearing and then take another picture and then, you know... Take like ten of them, but only upload like the best three. But um, don't make fun of anyone for being a selfie artist, because somebody's gonna want those pictures one day. That's all I got for the day. <laughs>